Hi guys, so there were many errors while doing website integration so I thought to create a video on solving the errors and there are top 5 most faced errors while integrating with website so let's have a look at it so in the first error what we are going to look at is when you have started your server and it's it's not providing you the chat widget so now basically what happens is this error you might get in the console section so how to first of all how to go to the console section so right click on anywhere on the website and go to inspect and inside inspect there will be a section here console so in the console you might see this error and the main the main error will be here above this fail to load resource that double colon and error underscore name underscore not resolved okay so why this is happening is uh, currently the bot front has added a new feature which has a particular version will work with a particular rasa version and so that particular version is 1.0.0 so here where in the index.html where you have added the script there you have updated the url for the rasa web chat script so there you will see rasa web chat and after that add at the rate 1.0.0 this is the version name which we'll be using for rasa below 2.5 and on their website they have mentioned that uh, for 2.5 3 and 2.4 also is a uh, use of 1.0.1 but i tried it and it wasn't working so i'm using 1.00 for rasa below 2.4 and 2.4 okay so now let's save this and try to rerun see there's uh this is not any kind of error this is just a font error so don't focus on that okay so here if we have a widget and if you say hi it will respond to something in return but that doesn't happen here because so in the second kind of error what you see is when you sent hi and when you see here there's nothing you can find basically so you will see you will check that webchat version is correct the rasa version you are running is correct and matching with the webchat version so why it is not working so there's just a simple issue it's with your training model so let's say you have trained your model your previous model which is currently the active one here it's of probably 2.3 or 2.5 or somewhere so you have to just retrain your model and first of all before retraining your model you have to delete the old models so once you have done that it will start working so i'll show you that it's it's simple and easy so currently i'm using 2.1.2 for this particular error so what i'll do is i'll train this model I just move this into the test. You can, if you don't want it, you just delete it. Okay, so the new model has been trained, and now let's run the course command to start the server. You'll see here there's a new model. We'll wait for the Rasa. Okay, it's up and running. Now try to say hi. See, it replied me, Hey, how are you? So it was just a model issue, nothing else. The third error what you face while integrating with Rasa is you have added this, you have also added your local host here, and you are running on let's say a port 5506. So the port is different 
then you have provided in the socket url right so now what you have to do is just change the port number and it will refresh and here it is see i say hi it will say hi see? this this is the, what the issue is The fourth issue that you might face while integrating with Rasa is engine IO and socket IO version doesn't match or doesn't work at all with 2.3 and 2.4. So what to do with that? It's basically a simple thing. You will need to change the version of it. So the error, how the error will look like. Let me show you. This is the list. Let me refresh it and you will be able to see. So this is what error looks like. It will say 400 bad requests because socket hour version and engine hour version are not compatible. So now which version you should use for this? Just make sure to first turn off the server. Okay, so now we'll be installing engine IO. So the for the engine IO we'll be using version. 3.13.2 now type python engine i o oops engine i o equal equal 3.13.2 this version okay now what we have to do is install socket i o of version 4.6.1 Oh, oh no, oh, Python socket IO equal equal 4.6.1. See, this has been successfully installed, and now what we can do is we can try it. Just run the command, and, and now say hi. So basically you see that this widget has came up. So this is what indicates that your Rasa has been connected with your Botfront URL. That's what indicates us. And when you say hi, as I said it, it replied me. And also, first of all, I mentioned that I did train my model and I haven't used the previous one. Okay. So I just swapped it with a new one. That's why it's working. But if you have trained your model in 2.1.2, it won't work with 2.3 or something. Right? It will give you some error or something. Make sure I delete it and train it again. The fifth thing that you might face while integrating your Rasa chatbot is not adding this URL. So I, I see this many times that people forget to do this or don't add this utter. Basically, it's a comment and they added it and just use it. Okay, so if it's like this, you have to uncomment it and use this because this you are a programmer. Okay, so think of it and do it. Okay, so this was the whole video and I hope you liked it. If you liked it, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe first. There's a red button below. So subscribe to my channel and you have a lots of interesting videos about this. If you if you're still facing any kind of error, you can add in the comment below. I'll try to help you out in any ways possible.